Kavita Shne here with VIP TV. Now, if you are a diehard foodie like me, then you'll have heard of the South Beach Food and Wine Festival. And in year 15, what better way to celebrate than bringing that deliciousness up a little north for the Taste of Fort Lauderdale series. Tonight, we're kicking it off at the Bonnet House. Follow me. We're with Lee Schrager, founder of South Beach Wine and Food Festival. Lee, it's your 15th year, and you brought it up to Fort Lauderdale. Well, it was a natural expansion. I mean, we found over the years that a lot of our consumers were coming from north, and we figured, why not take some people off of South Beach, which is jam-packed <laughs> over the festival weekend, and make it easier for folks coming from here, and hoping also to capture a new audience. What do you think of the 954, the Venice of Florida? I grew up here. I, I started working right across the street at Swenson's Ice Cream Parlor 40 years ago. I mean, how much better can it be than just kind of rolling out of bed, uh, having a great day at work, and then trying some great food at night? Now, Robert Irvine is here tonight. How did that come about to have him as a host? We were just thinking about people that made sense. I mean, doesn't Robert look like he came right off the beach? I have been here many times before, but not in this capacity. To come here and eat great food with, and hang out with great chefs uh, in, in an amazing environment, the Bonnet House, uh, hey, who wouldn't want to come here? Have you tried anything that you love so far that you want to tell us to try? I'm going to tell you, I have tried the donuts. This is a classic uh, sour cream donut, and then we also have a blueberry sour cream on the other side there. I've tried everything is up there. Um, the tomato soup with the cheese, uh, the lobster sandwich. Robert Irvine told me that your tomato and grilled cheese was one of his favorites, by the way. He went a little crazy for it. <laughs> Give us a secret ingredient. It's a secret if I have to tell you, but I can tell you. Fresh lobster, sauteed onions, truffle oil, and most importantly, San Marzano tomato bisque. Always got to add that Italian in the menu. That's why I love your spot. What do we got here tonight, Chef? Well, tonight we have a uh, seared diver scallops with a little wilt of arugula, fennel, tangerine, and a yuzu jelly. How do you come up with this stuff? Because you're Greek, I can tell by your last name. Is it a Greek influence? It does have a little bit of a Mediterranean twist to it. We love Wild Sea Oyster Bar and Grill. And my girlfriend that's with me said that this was her favorite dish of the whole night. So what do we got here? You have seared monkfish, smoked Gouda grits. They're actually organic Gouda grits with a corn succotash. Stop it will it. melt in your mouth. I guarantee it. Chef Dewey, you came all the way from the Redlands. It's kind of far for Fort Lauderdale, you know? You have, you have the Everglades, you have alligators, and you have us down there. So we make, we make wine, we make beer, and we make food. We have a 30-acre farm. We deal with local farmers, local food, local beer, local wine. So we did a little uh, whole roast of Florida key snapper with some shrimp and calamari, little capers, some fregula, which is toasted Italian pasta. Uh, some pine nuts, some fresh herbs, basil, mint, green onions. I, I'm, I'm being fed on the job. This is pretty amazing. Mm. Oh my god, I need more. Oh, she needs more. Oh my god, it's another, amazing. Another. Wait, wait, oh. wait, wait. Yes! Oh my god. Yes, sir. Ah. Uh. I have to say that I am so happy that I saved the best for last. Isn't this delicious? I totally agree. Yeah. Have I love more, it. have more. <laughs> Yum! Apparently she's going to eat some more, so uh, that's up for us tonight. We'll see you soon. Don't forget to tune in next week. Make sure to keep the Taste of Fort Lauderdale series on your list for next year. For VIP TV, I'm Kavita Shanae, and we'll see you next time.